Hello! And a warm welcome to Scenescape, where we explore the fascinating realm of ships, modern innovations, and the latest technologies. Riding the waves. The ship technology that makes it unsinkable. With the rapid advancement of technology, today's ships of colossal size can remain stable even in extremely adverse weather conditions. Moreover, some ships, engineered by experts, possess the ability to self-right when capsized by waves. The technology responsible for creating unsinkable ships is noteworthy. Large vessels like cargo ships, weighing hundreds of thousands of tons, can maintain stability despite facing massive ocean waves. When sailing on the open sea, these ships endure various forces and pressures from ocean waves and winds. To withstand these conditions, all ships are equipped with a stability system, ensuring balance when floating. Consequently, when the ship is tilted by waves or wind, it can return to an upright position. Several devices contribute to maintaining ship stability, including wing-like or fin-shaped structures installed on the ship's sides. These appendages, extending approximately two-thirds of the ship's length, enhance stability, especially at high speeds. Another stability device is the anti-rolling tank, a tank that stabilizes the ship when it tilts to the left or right. Positioned across the ship's width, the tank's water flow significantly reduces rolling movements. The anti-rolling tank comes in two types, active and passive. The active rolling tank, with a more intricate mechanism involving pumps, enhances water flow in both tanks. Another stabilizing device is the active stabilizer, a fin-shaped tool that dampens rolling or swaying movements. This finch stabilizer, placed on both sides of the ship's hull, can move in various directions. Controlled by sensors on the ship, when the ship rolls or sways, the ship's sensitive gyro system sends signals to the actuating system, usually electrohydraulic. However, the effectiveness of this active system diminishes when the ship travels at speeds below 10 knots or approximately 18 km per hour. For ships carrying containers, an anti-healing system, a servo control system, is implemented to maintain the ship's horizontal position during loading and unloading in ports. This system is not applicable for open sea stabilization and only functions when the ship is in port. Engaging in container loading and unloading, the anti-healing system detects the ship's tilt angle and automatically balances the ship by pumping water from one side to the other. In the ballast tank, this system comprises the main control panel and the anti-healing pump, capable of functioning both automatically and manually. The ship's stability system is also influenced by balance points on the ship, determining the ship's stability value. Therefore, the ship's stability points must always be considered by the crew, as neglecting them is a primary cause of accidents. Whether the ship is in open seas or docked at a port, Moving on to rescue ships, these vessels are used for search and rescue, SAR, operations, providing assistance to victims of maritime accidents. However, extreme weather conditions and high sea waves can hinder SAR operations, leading to ship capsizing. To address this challenge, engineers worldwide have developed self-lighting boats, capable of returning to an upright position even when flipped 180 degrees. These serving boats can accelerate rapidly and navigate through various extreme sea conditions. One notable company manufacturing self-lighting boats is the RNLI, Royal National Life Institution, in the UK. The design of these boats incorporates essential elements, enabling automatic self-writing. In the initial design phase, all heavy equipment and objects on the ship are positioned as low as possible. 
The crew's operational and control area must be lightweight, robust, and well-ventilated. Additionally, the crew compartment doors are watertight to prevent water ingress during ship inversion. A pendulum system is also integrated into these self-lighting boats to prevent water from entering the ship's interior. When the ship flips, the pendulum system's weight hangs vertically, automatically closing all open parts to prevent water ingress. In the SEAL tracking ship, an onboard system detects ship inversion, automatically protecting the ship by shutting down the radar and ship's engine, then restoring the ship to its original position. Once the ship returns to a normal position, the radar and ship's engine resume operation. Crew members inside the ship are required to be seated and secured with safety belts to ensure their safety during ship inversion.